from Amsterdam, my name is Ivana and today I'm doing a Q&A video, the second Q&A video. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Snapchat, so let's see what you got. To be very fair, I'm a little bit shaken by the comments of yesterday's video, uh, the, the Muslim ban video. Don't feel sorry for me, I knew exactly what I was getting into um, and it's good that we're all having a conversation but it, it wasn't, you know, the nicest read, if you get what I mean. So also I watched the Bollywood movie blog, Milka blog, and uh, it, it was a little bit about that topic and it was just too much for one day. So I am definitely doing this Q&A because I promise, but uh, just know that uh, I'm a little bit shaken and if I don't come off as happy as I normally am, then it's because of that Snapchat. Oh wait, I should have an internet connection. But then I cannot record the audio. Will this work? Let me see. Okay, let's just try. No. Wait, wait, wait. If there is a video. I don't know how Snapchat actually works with video and... Wait. Oh, do I want to be in your video? Please do open my... Please love you so much. I Sukanya. Oh, crap. I cannot download the... Um, the video if I have my phone on flight mode. Wait, 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 wait. We need to figure this out. How am I gonna do this? Because I need interwebs, but this is the audio and the interwebs disturbs the audio. So that's not fun. Okay, let's just try this. And if the audio sucks, then you will just have suckier audio, but I will be able to show you, uh, show your videos. Oh, <laughs> you just posted that you wanted to be in my video. Well, you're in my video, honey. Hello. Wow, this is a long one. Okay, KK33669. Uh, Ivana, please don't get involved into this religious stuff. Oh yes, I know, honey. I shouldn't. That's why I never talk religion and politics. But I really felt that this was necessary because sometimes I like to speak out about things that are seriously wrong. Like people thinking all Indians are rapists. You know. Um, be safe, Ivana. Don't go the Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Why can't I hear anything? Oh, wait. Okay, this audio is going to be sucky because we're just doing this. Hi, Ivana. My question to you is, what is the best thing that you remember about India? Oh, Hi, Ivana. that's so sweet. What is the best thing that you remember about India? The best thing that I remember about India? Mm. Well, my first in instinct is to say food, but it's the people. Like everywhere you go, people are so nice and so friendly. Of course, not everybody is friendly, but you know, you just have to uh, keep a positive outlook. But in general, people in India are so nice and so funny. I love the way you speak English. I love all your movements and everything. So yeah, the people, I would say that. Even though the food is also like a shared number one. <laughs> Well, there we go. Ayeza Javed188. Hello, my friend. He says, what religion you belong to? Love. My religion is love. A Hindi sign. I don't know what this means. Asks, I want to ask which is the one place you could recommend visiting in India? The one place. Are you for real? <laughs> um, the one place. I would say Rishikesh. You know why? Even though Mumbai is my favorite city in the world and I love it so much, Rishikesh is so peaceful and so beautiful and I think it's a whole different side of India that people have no idea about. So the one place in India I would recommend you to visit, Rishikesh. Ginger16 Amruta asks, hey again, my question. Ginger, hello Ginger16. My question, was it hard for you to adapt to the culture and different people when you first visited India? No, not at all. It was beyond my expectations. Like, you know how people always, well, this is what people tell you in the West. If you are a solo female traveler and you're going to India, you're gonna get raped, you're gonna get sick, blah, 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 blah. So when I arrived, I was like this. Ugh! And I was so afraid of everything and everyone and I was afraid to eat and I was afraid to talk to people But people were so nice. I landed in Kochi the first time and Literally the guys from the from the sim card desk. They brought me to the bus. I I offered the guy uh, a tip He didn't want anything of it. He didn't speak Disrespectfully to me or nothing. I got into the bus the bus driver helped me 
people were so nice from the start and I was just like what are all these lies that are told to me you know like people are so nice and then I got into Kochi in the afternoon and I was staying with um, Manuel's family and Lina's family of course Manuel and Lina are a couple and I was staying in their homestay so I went into town and it was it was just like walking into a Bollywood movie and it was so much fun and I got really delicious food at this small restaurant Chili Paneer I, I remember uh, yeah, so that was my first impression. It was beyond my expectations, but in a very, very positive way. Okay, so this one is in Dutch from X Maya J. So how do you prepare for six months abroad Asia financially, but also mentally and physically? I would be uh, primarily working internship, but there's so much more. And how do you find a house in Asia? Well, honey, uh, well, finding a house, I cannot help you with that because I never lived in Asia. But um, if maybe you can just Google that one. I also don't know which Asian country because Asia is quite big and all the different countries have different rules. So first, uh, check your visa, check your vaccinations because if you're staying for six months, you will probably need quite some time to arrange your visa. Also, you will probably need to arrange the internship. Let me just get rid of this mic because it's not doing anything. Financially, well, I would start saving and I do that with my Excel sheet. So I literally record every every cent that I spent. So uh, that's what I did for three years when I saved up for my travels. Um, you just need to see what money is going out and what money is going in and see what kind of unnecessary expenses you're having. Then you can put an amount of money into the bank every single month. And the biggest trap I think for people or the biggest downfall for people is that they don't take into account that sometimes you need to feel like every two or three months I would go shopping anyway. And I just calculated that in my budget. So take into account that you will fail while saving for your trip. And that's the best advice I could give you. Start saving right now, right now. Don't, don't wait because otherwise it will be too late. <laughs> that rhymes, I'm just such a rapper, man. <laughs> that's so cute. J, JDGR8 asks, hey, you're an awesome person and my fave. I just wanna ask you how much you love India. I know that's quite kiddish, but I just wanna know. Do you know how much I love India? This much, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you see my eyes? This much, this much. <laughs> Deep T asks, my question is, would you like to come back to India this year and visit new places? Honey, you should watch my back, uh, Road Back to India series every Sunday. I watch a Bollywood movie because hell yeah, I'm coming back to India in 2017. Probably in the summertime this time because I really want to go to Northeast India. Well, um, and if I go, don't go, you guys will probably hunt me down and make me go anyway. I also want to go to Punjab, Gujarat. So yeah, that's all my itinerary. This is Udit from Delhi, India. I just wanted to ask you, how do you manage to save so much for your trips? Well, secondly, I would like to ask you, what are your hobbies? <laughs> Isha, see you in India. Yes, so how did I manage to save so much for my trips? I saved three years and I saved 23,000 euros. Now keep in mind, I was already working for three years when I started saving, so I had quite a good salary, especially in the West. If uh, you are going to Asia, your salary is, is definitely good, but this is my way. I have an Excel sheet and I keep track of every single expense that I make. So literally, if I would give one euro to, uh, to someone in the streets, I would put that in my expense sheet and also I keep track of the money that comes in. I would do that for every week, but I should probably make a separate video about this video because there are quite some questions and I just want to get into details. I made this video in Dutch, uh, but it it's in Dutch, so not everybody understands that. But just keeping track of my expenses in an Excel, uh, an Excel sheet and my income and looking for unnecessary expenses, saving every single month, keeping track of my expenses every single week to you know not have too much unnecessary expenses. That's, that's the general thing. But I will make a separate video because there are many people asking this question. Thank you so much. And also my hobbies, my hobbies are walking. I love to hike and I love to walk in general. And I love yoga. I don't know if you could consider that a hobby. My whole hobby is also making videos. I love making videos and make them with, with all the love that I have. I already did this while I was working. So yeah, making videos is definitely a hobby of mine. Also, you could say photography. 
because I love to make pictures, but only if I can post them on Instagram. Nadine knows what I mean, because if I can't post a picture on Instagram, I don't want it. I don't want it, and it's a stupid picture. So I think those are my biggest hobbies. Yeah, well, these are all the Snapchat questions I have for you right now. Uh, if you want another Q&A video, please put a thumbs up. You can always post some questions down in the comments below for the next Q&A video. And if you would like to see more of my videos or travel back to India with me, because that's what everybody is obsessed about, click that subscribe button. But next trip I'm going to make is a surprise trip, actually. So make sure to check my Instagram on Friday, because then it will be revealed where our next trip is going to be. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!